You want a telephoto lens in your toolkit if you're going to be shooting any sort of content, whether it's web series or short films, and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys why. Wide angle lenses show field of view, telephoto lenses are good at showing depth. They're good for faces, they're good for insert shots. So there is kind of a story that emerged when I was writing the script for this, and basically telephoto lenses are going to be good for a lot of cheat shots. So a cheat shot is basically if you're tracking a character and the shot changes to the character's point of view, that second shot could have been cheated and done in a different way. Maybe they're at a different location, maybe they're using CGI. There's tons of different cheat shots. What makes telephoto lenses good for cheat shots is the fact that you are so cropped in. It's very easy to control your framing. On top of having a smaller frame to work with, telephoto lenses are also good for bokeh compared to wide-angle lenses. And what I mean by bokeh is just separation between your subject and the background. So this is a shot of bokeh. Okay, so the table's set. Quick little reminder that this channel is for the solo filmmaker, the filmmaker who's wanting to shoot content fast. Okay, so starting off the list of why you want a telephoto lens in your toolkit, and that is going to have to do with lighting. So lighting or any kind of gear in general, it's very easy to set up a shot with a telephoto lens versus a wide angle lens because you can control your framing very nice, which I already kind of touched on. So it's very easy to, if you have a C-stand or a boom pole or boom pole with a sound operator, you can get them out of the frame. Reason number two why you want a telephoto lens is now you have more avenues for getting sound. So you could get sound by having a boom operator, you could get audio by having your mic be directly attached to your camera, there's tons of different ways. But you get your best audio when you have a sound operator actually put the boom pole over your subject's face, which you can't really get when you're using a wide angle lens. Third reason why you want a telephoto lens is going to have to do with perception. So. If you're shooting short films, I've done this myself. If you want to make a room look more crowded than it actually is, because maybe you don't have a ton of budget, then that's easier to do when you're cropped in because the audience is going to kind of fill in those gaps versus on a wide angle lens, you're not really able to pull that off. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, moving on to reason number four why you might want a telephoto lens, and that is going to have to do with subject separation. So again, this is another cheat, but basically bokeh, which is basically separating your subject from the actual background, that is more distinguishable in a telephoto lens versus a wide angle lens. Here's what I'm talking about. So if you ever wanted to blur out the background, say you were shooting a short film and you didn't want certain logos in the frame, then you can do that easier and you'll be able to pull that off on a telephoto lens. In my lens basics video, I talk about bokeh and depth of field a little bit more. So be sure to check that video out. It's part of this playlist. Okay, so those are some reasons why you want a telephoto lens. Let's talk about some tips on how to actually use it. You see more micro jitters when you're using a telephoto lens. So a telephoto lens plus handheld is not a very good idea. I'd either be using a stabilizer or be thinking that you're going to have your telephoto lens on an actual tripod. Tip number two for using a telephoto lens is consider that background separation is more distinguishable. So you're not really wanting to shoot with a shallow depth of field all the time. Tip number two when using a telephoto lens is going to have to do with subject separation. So if you're in a situation where you have to keep the focus on a manual camera, that's going to be harder to do on a telephoto lens versus a wide angle lens because the depth of field is a lot more shallow on a telephoto lens. So if I'm having to track a subject on a telephoto lens, then I'm thinking, okay, I have to do something to mitigate that. I have to close down my aperture. So an f2.8 shot is now going to become an f5.6 shot. Again, talking about bokeh and depth of field and all that, there's tons of content out on YouTube, but I do have a video on that as well. So that is going to be all part of this playlist. That is in my lens basics video. Okay guys, so this was all part of a big playlist. We did a video on wide angle lenses. This is my video on telephoto lenses. The next one is gonna be on zoom lenses. Then I'm gonna talk about lens basics. And then I'm gonna finish off on why you should have a fast lens. So stay tuned for all of that. All of that is gonna be uploaded very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and catch you later.